finally, after 14 years of renovation, I get a proper pair of work boots. Welcome to Fee and Yo's Reno Show. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, let's stick to renovating. <laughs> uh, no dancing from me today, but I do want to tell you about what we hope to get done. So uh, we don't have a whole lot of time today. We sort of had some stuff to do this morning, so it's about lunchtime now. So I've only got a few hours out here, but uh, I came out the other day and put this corner trim on. I didn't film that because I forgot the camera and everything. Um, and so I've only got one side on so today what we hope to do is get the other corner trim on uh, and these corner trims are quite important they sort of hold the roof down and help keep everything waterproof so I've got to clean up this uh, all this stuff here and uh, sick of flex down the the new trim and if we've got time actually this might be a good job for fee to get started with uh, we're going to put the timber battens in here The roof's all done, but we need timber battens against the side of these aluminium battens so that we've got something to nail the ceiling to. Uh, yeah, so that's today's jobs. Um, we'll see how far we get. The wind has caught this, and our wonderful neighbour came and put the log on because it was flapping something terrible with the wind. So, yeah, thankfully we put that log on. Not the log. Thankfully we put the rock on. It's managed to fold itself right underneath. Yeah, that's the weird part. <laughs> so yeah, pretty pretty strong. And yet, old Bessie is hanging in there. And the new roof's still on, which is a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> we must have done something right. We should call her Bessie. What do you think? No. Nessie? No. Jessie? No, I don't, I don't like naming vehicles. The blob. Okay, 2292. 2, 1, 2, 2, 9, 1, 2, 2, 9. Before we can put that corner trim back on, I want to just clean away all of the old sealer from here. It's not a very fun job, but it's got to be done. Thanks. So you can see the wire brush cleans it up really nicely and uh, gives it a nice raw surface ready for that sticker flex to stick down to. I can see me in your glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got this edge cleaned up and uh, well I need to give it a clean all the dust off before I put the glue on but also before I put the glue on uh, it's going to overlap this joiner strip and so what I need to do is trim this joiner strip back so that this is going to sit flush down. So we've just got to cut that little bit off there. So I'm just trying to be really careful that I don't cut through the actual roof. glue out the way and then it'll sit there nicely 
So the next step is I'll get some of the, uh, the brake cleaner I've been using and clean all this dust and dirt off and get a nice clean surface ready for the glue to stick down. Getting nice and clean. Can't scrub too hard because it actually cleans the paint off a little bit. Oh. But I guess that means it's cleaning it good. <laughs> really want to get the dust off anyway. And the goo? Mm, goo's already gone. Goo's gone. Goo's gone, girl. Right, move the ladder? Yep. Okay. My new boots? Did I tell you about my new boots? Great, it's all ready to go. Time to stick some sticky goo everywhere and make a big mess of ourselves. When I did the other side, I wasn't wearing gloves and um, this stuff does go everywhere so I've decided today to wear gloves, see how it goes, see if I can stop getting all over my fingers. And what I tend to do is just fill up any kind of holes or cracks as I'm going and put plenty on there so that when we put that corner flashing on, it's going to squeeze out. And I'll clean off the excess after it's squeezed out and then we know it's like had a really good coverage. So you can see on this side we've got that lap, so I'm gonna squeeze it down into that lap. And just keep on going all the way around. Okay, just about ready for the tricky bit now. I've got all the gunk on there, you can see it on there, and now we've got to stick this on without it like smearing and getting blown around in the wind. And uh, you need sort of about five hands to do this, but. I can give you one. Uh, well, we'll see how we go. So just pushing it up there. And I've already got it on my finger, that's okay. All right. Right, so I'll leave it sticking up in the air and I'll get this side sorted. See, I've already got it all over me. Yeah. Okay, first one on, that's good. I'm gonna breathe, breathe in there. You make it look so easy. Ah, uh, yeah, I suppose I had a, already had a practice run on the other side where no one was watching. <laughs> now I start cleaning off the, the goo. Gonna pass me the brake cleaner and a paper towel, oh. the paper towels. How many paper towels? They'll roll. I'll roll. Come on up. Ooh, look at those nice boots. <laughs> this is the transition point between the three mil thick roof and obviously the the old roof, which is a lot thinner. So I've put plenty of glue or sealer through there. And a rivet either side just to squash it down. This is where the two pieces of flashing meet. And you'd think, because we've added three mil of thickness to a lot of the roof along here, that the two pieces of flashing would then have to cover more distance and be shorter. But they seem to now overlap, so if someone can explain to me how that happens. That would be interesting, but I reckon that'll do it. Perfect. Nice. Alright. Beautiful. Cleaning time, yay. That's the last bit. All done. So the trims are back on. Roof, I think, is finished. How awesome does that look? Pretty amazing. Well done, you. Yeah. yeah, well, now, now we wait and see if it's waterproof. <laughs> and if it's not, we've got to fix all the leaks. It will be. Well, it should be, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> wow. So these gloves started out black 
and that's why I was wearing them, otherwise all this white would be on my hands. Very sticky stuff. Yep. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All right, let's have a cup of tea. All right. You didn't film that, did you? Yes. You can't film me. I haven't got my hat on. I've got hat hair. Okay, Feast nicely cut all the timber for us. And we're going to start sticking it up against these aluminium rafters. <laughs> First one in, a few more to go. I'm chucking a bit of glue on them because, um, well, it doesn't hurt. And uh, the more the merrier, I'll say. Can you hold that in and I'll yep. clamp this end up. You might be wondering why these aren't going all the way through and that is a good question um, but what we're actually doing is we're framing out for where the hatches are going to go so down this end we've done already so you can see the hatch is going in here so I'm going to put a bit of timber across here and across here and that's going to give me my frame that the uh, the hatch can screw to once we cut a hole in the in the nice new roof to put the hatch in so but all the other rafters are in. We're just finishing off that framing down there and then we'll cut these pieces in. And that's the roof framing done. Perfect. So I want to cut one that is 105. Just as I'm working away in the caravan here, I have actually noticed something about this composite panel and I was hoping that it would provide a little bit of insulation value because of that uh, three mil core of uh, plastic. And I noticed if I touch here on the old skin when it's uh, got sun on it, it's actually quite hot to the touch. But if I touch here on the composite panel, it just feels cool. So it's amazing how much difference the double skin and that composite core make to how much heat transfer is going to come in the van so pretty happy with that that's a really good side benefit of putting that panel on the roof hmm. it fell out there the nail Ping, pinged right around but that's why you always wear safety glasses when you're nailing because it can sometimes shoot back at you so that is all the framing done for the ceiling Hatches are framed out. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. We can probably run the wiring and put all that in next before we put the insulation in. But uh, we've got a bit of work to do from here on now that that is all done. We actually have to finish off the floor. I've got to get the welder uh, and get that welded up. And we've got to fix this broken frames and stuff around. So we've got that break in the frame there, which is not ideal, each side of the window. So yeah, 
a uh, few bits and pieces to fix up, but it'd be nice to get the floor down, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah. Nice to finish that. Then she'll be almost airtight. Yeah. Well, besides all the gaps, little holes. Anyway, good afternoon's work. Yeah. Let's pack up. All right. Another great day. Shadows are starting to grow longer, so we're going to call it a day for today. Not a super exciting day today, uh, but they can't all be days where we pull the roof off. Sometimes you just have to do the little things as well. Mm. But a fun day. Mm. In a Sunday. It's not Sunday. No, it's a sunny day. Oh yeah, it is a sunny day. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Did you notice my new boots? My new boots.